All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And as we're starting this video, getting a little things prepped, we're talking about the Beatles, John Lennon and whatnot. And I say, oh, he wrote one of the best songs, best songs of all time on his own. Imagine, he's like, I'm not sure if I know that song. So look out for that reaction coming up. So it just came <laughs> my mind, blew my mind. What a fantastic song. Check out another fantastic song, kind of on that, that level of, this is a ballad, a little slower song. It's called The Long and Winding Road. Right. And you see this clip right here. You guys can't see it, but I'm showing him. There's a suggestion for this clip from that yesterday movie I've been telling him about. Right. Um, where the guy plays that for Ed Sheeran. And in that clip, I don't want to give too much away. Ed Sheeran's like, dude, you just wrote the greatest song of all time in 30 seconds? <laughs> and he's like kind of distraught about it because he thought he was a great songwriter. He said he was distraught about it. They had a competition. He's like, listen, you know, you're, you're coming up big right now, hitting these big songs. How about you go and write a song 30 seconds, I'll write a song for 30 seconds, and we'll just perform them for each other, and we'll see who wins. And he's been a little cocky about it. Yeah. So obviously this guy didn't write The Long and Winding Road. He wrote right. it from the Beatles, but no one else knew that. Right, right. Cause so he plays this song for him after Ed Sheeran performs his little silly song about penguins or whatever like that. And then Ed Sheeran's just looking at him like, huh, they told me this date would come. <laughs> he seriously, he's just like, would there be a better songwriter? He's oh like, but that was probably the greatest song I ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> That's and hilarious. He just, have a good night. Like he just leaves. I gotta watch this yesterday movie because yeah, after we listen to some more Beatles songs, you definitely got to. Oh man! But you're on groundation right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and check this one out. If you like our reaction, anyway, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is his first time here, in case you missed that. The long and winding. And I, I gave it a huge build up. Okay, I don't think it's the greatest song ever written. That was just a line from the movie, but it is a very good song. Hopefully, it's some of their older stuff because you know how I feel about their newer stuff. You mean? Oh, yeah, they're newer stuff. You know how I feel about the jingles. <laughs> you get mad at me when I said it. This Dude, is, two minutes is not a song. This is not a jingle. Two minutes is not a song. Just saying. Here we go. What? The long and winding road That leads to your door Will never Disappear. I've seen that road before. It always leads me here. Lead me to your door. The wild and windy Crying for the dead beginning. Why leave me standing here? We reacted to this song, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Let me know. Many times I've cried Anyway, you'll never know The many ways I've tried I've still You left me 
standing here a long, long time ago. You're so weird. Why am I so weird? You're so weird. I can feel an insult coming. How is this not one of your favorite Beatles songs? I didn't say it wasn't one of my favorite. I said it's not the greatest song ever. Really. Oh, I thought you said it's not. Because they, it, they have like, I'm sorry, they have like 20 songs that are tied for like three or four in my mind. Okay, because to me, like, and I don't know, maybe their ballads and their slower stuff, I think is where they probably shine the best or whatnot. But like, uh, um... Yesterday was it? Was it yesterday? yesterday a, a, yeah. a sunshine, sunshine was it that we did as well? Sun, was it yesterday or sunshine yesterday. or whatever? Okay, yesterday, uh, I put that up there with this and while, while my guitar gently weeps, like those slower ballads, man. That's where they really. It's an additive first and foremost. I, I thought you said that, that it wasn't one of your favorite beats. No, I'm like, what? Because Ed Sheeran says you just wrote the greatest song ever oh, written. Oh, okay. Seconds. okay, I, said, okay. I don't agree. It's the greatest song ever written because that's a high, tall task. Okay. But I could. I love that scene in the movie because you can imagine someone. You made that up in 30 seconds. That amazing song. Yeah, like, ah. Uh, I just love that that's scene. you're like, it's over for me. Let and me it's, just it's not fair it. because he didn't write that song, but he's right, not right. going to say that. Anyways. Um, yeah, dude, they're slower stuff, man. And their ballads, like, again, that's what I think. That's when they're at their best. And um, to me, yeah, yesterday, while my guitar gently weeps, and and now, uh, what, what, is it, what was the long winding road? These are... To, and they're longer, they're more intricate, you know what I'm saying? They're more layered. Where again, their earlier stuff, it was just more jingly. And don't get mad at me when I say jingly, guys. So I just more poppy, more just quick, it's, you know. It's the holiday season, jingle. Like, like two minutes is, come on, you gotta give me more than two minutes. And even this one was still a little bit on the shorter side, three minutes and 40 seconds. But it still gave the time, the song time to breathe and gave you time to uh, digest it. Lyrics were just masterful. Um, I think that just as they matured, their later stuff was just better. And I think that's true for some bands, some for some bands. Listen, I, I remember one of my favorite rappers of all time, Eminem, he was, one of the favorite lines, he said, let's stop with the fables. I'm not gonna be able to top what my name is. Like, look, I gave you the, the masterpiece. It is what it is. You know, I can't do better than that. You and know he was saying? wrong. He was <laughs> definitely able to top it many times over. I, dude, I don't know, man. My name is, is it, it was one of his strongest. It was, that album was crazy was as well. It was by the fact that no one knew who he was and the right. fact that this is a white dude and this is a short white dude and this right. or that and he can rap like that. But for me, that's a different story, but that's not even in my top five favorite Eminem songs. Oh, no, no, it's definitely my top five. It was like, let's stop with the labels and stop with the fables. I'm not going to be able to top what my name is. Like, dude, like, the, how honest he was in that song. And I think that's the song, The Way I Am. I think that's In The Way I, I Am. am. No, that's yeah. probably my favorite Eminem song. Yeah, that's, that, that, one, that one was really good as well. Um, but I think that many yeah. bands are like like that. You know what I mean? They give you their best in their first, and then usually the mo the music goes downhill. Where to me, I think the Beatles improved over time. Same like Metallica. I love you know uh, uh, some of their later stuff. I should say. You said Black Album was their later stuff, right? Yeah. It was the White Album. The what? The White Album. White Album. I thought you said it was Black Album. You call it a Jay-Z call it. And then the Metallica's is the Black Album. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 yeah. So Metallica's the Black Album, yeah. 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 I thought you said Beatles, sorry. So Metallica's got the Black Album, I was yeah. about Eminem. And that's their, that's their, <laughs> their, their, their later stuff. So yeah. I think that that's the, the, the true testament of a good artist when they can continue to self-improve and give you more, better and better content. So many artists, let's be honest, they give you one album, two albums, and then they're done. They're flamed out. Like, I can't even top myself. I'm trying to beat myself. There's nothing I can do there. You know Dude, what I mean? It would be such an accomplishment to have not just one song that hit, but an entire album. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's, 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 but yes, the pressure would be extremely, because you would think, like, okay, I built some cachet that even if my next album's garbage, I'll still sell a few million. No, no, no. We live in a very fickle, very what have you done for me lately type society dude, where that's not going to fly. There is no cachet you build up. Dude, and you know what's funny? <laughs> it's, it's funny you say that. 
I can't name a Taylor Swift song, but she is the biggest artist on the planet. Stop it. Honestly, she, I, I, off the top of your head, you know what I mean? Yes. I cannot name a Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift song, but I was listening to, the, to, to a broadcast the other night. Do you realize, dude, dude she's about to overtake like the Mike, Michael Jacksons of the world all time? Say, holy cow! It's like Michael Jackson and the Beatles. Like, like, I don't know if she's approaching. I mean, maybe, bro, she's printing money. Maybe well, yeah. she's printing maybe money. In some categories. She's printing money. You at least heard this song "Shake It Off." Shake it. Okay, that's Taylor Swift. Yeah, I've heard yeah, yeah, "Shake yeah. It Off." Okay, so, but I didn't know that was. I was saying I can name you like, ten. We're songs like right now, "Arch Enemy" or uh, what's the um, anti-hero that my my wife really likes a lot. I can name you ten Michael Jackson songs off the top of my oh, yes. head. The Beatles, that's your style. iconic. Okay, iconic band. Even though I'm you still just getting it a few months ago, but I knew while my Gatelli uh, uh Charge yes. weeps. How is she and and, and not even in the because amount she's of lasted time. the test of time? I mean, she has a song that teardrops of my guitar, something like that, which is kind of funny. Um, gently weeps or whatever, but great song that was one of her first big hits or whatever. Right. And then she came out, and there were songs that even I liked, and a stay is all, a great song, all time. Selling she's artists, she's that's lasting. insane to me that she's gonna uh, uh, beat out Mike and the Beatles. That's you can't crazy do that with just a few albums. She's lasted. I also noticed, and this is like way off track, but I also noticed. I was looking at Google Music yesterday. I was looking at her album just yesterday for whatever reason. Looking at her albums, how many albums does she have? She has so many different like remastered, recording, more this and that, all for the same. Like she has five different albums for the same album. So uh, I think that also helps with the album sales. Ah, uh, okay. I, I I I was going, I was scrolling, and we're still in twenty twenty two from her albums that she released. <laughs> yeah, he's a so and I know she released ten albums in the last two Holy years. Holy cow! Like I do, but I was just shocked because and it it was only related to football. They're like, watch somehow the NFL rig it so that the uh, Kansas City Chiefs get get in because they're like, even though the Chiefs are not a Super Bowl contender. They're praying that Taylor Swift, <laughs> they, they make it so Taylor Swift is uh, at the Super Bowl without them having to pay her to perform. Yeah. Well, they don't pay for the halftime show. They don't pay. Trust me, they'll pay her Taylor Swift. I think they already have that set up. I <laughs> forgot who I heard it was. They'll Anyways. book that person like, listen, oh, Kansas my. City's in it. Taylor's agreed to do it. Bye. Get out of here. What are you kidding oh, me? <laughs> Let us know what you think about our reaction to this one. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. We know all things.